As God had promised, the Israelites came to live in the land of Canaan. But as time passed, they forgot their God and did evil in the Lord's sight. They served other gods. So the Lord handed them over to the Midianites for seven years. I'm so hungry. Give me some food. For six years, I've been farming. Those Midian people attack every day. Ah, how can we live through this hunger? Whether the harvest is good or bad, we don't have anything. In the seventh year, the Midianites came to camp in the Israelites' land. The Midianites destroyed the crops, took all the sheep, the cattle, everything. Our livestock has been stolen. My cattle, where are they? Oh, I miss them. The Midian thieves. Dad, how will we live? Everything is gone. <laughs> oh, I can't handle it. I can't live here. <laughs> Worshipping in the wilderness, eating manna. Those were the good old days. <laughs> so the Israelites cried out to the Lord because they couldn't stand the Midianites' oppression. Father God, help us! God sat under an oak tree. At that time, Gideon was beating out wheat in the wine press to hide from the Midianites. Hide and seek. No one will know I'm gathering grain. I feel like a wimp down here, but there's no other way. The Midianites are always stealing from us. They'll take everything if we let them. Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Uh... Who is it? I don't even tell my mom that I'm here. How did he know I'm down here? God is with you. No way. If God is with us, then why is all this happening? God has abandoned us and handed us over to the Midianites. We're like orphans. <laughs> the angel of God comforted Gideon while he was crying. Cheer up. God has chosen you to deliver Israel from the hand of the Midianites, and I will send you to Midian. You will save the Israelites. What? My family is the least in Manasseh, and I'm the youngest in my father's house. I'm weak. I'm small. Why would you choose me? Emmanuel, God is with you. Nothing is impossible for me. You shall defeat Midian as if you were dealing with one man. But Gideon was still fearful, so he asked for a sign from the Lord. Okay, but I have one condition. Hmm, if I'm talking with the Lord, hmm, would you please show me proof? Okay, okay. So, what would you like me to do? Gideon went in and cooked a young goat in a basket of flour. He baked some bread without yeast. Then, carrying the meat in a basket with the broth in a pot, he brought them out and presented them to the Lord, who was under the oak tree. Place the meat and the unleavened bread on this rock and pour the broth over it. When the angel of God touched the meat, right at that moment, fire flamed up from the rock and consumed the bread, and the angel of the Lord disappeared. Gideon finally realized that it really was the angel of the Lord. Wow, am I dead or alive? I met the Lord, and I'm still alive? God is Yahweh Shalom. God, my peace, is with me. So Gideon built an altar to the Lord 
and named it Yahweh Shalom, which means the Lord is peace. 